Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are introducing the brand new multi-process welders from the ESA brand. We are talking about the Rogue EM180 and the Rogue EMP210 Pro. Both welders have a PFC system so we have controlled consumption and can use extension cords of significant length. Both models are multi-process. The EM180 allows MMA welding of all classic coated electrodes such as rutile, basic stainless steel and cast iron, as well as wire welding with and without gas. On the other hand, the EMP210 Pro model also allows welding of cellulose electrodes, which are suitable for pipelines, allows wire welding with and without gas, and it is also possible to connect a TIG torch with valve, lift ignition for TIG welding in direct current mainly for welding iron and stainless steel, the EM180 has a maximum current of 180 amperes at 25%. E, the duty cycle at 60% is 116 amperes. As for the EMP210 Pro, the maximum current is 210 amperes at 30% and 136 amperes at 60%. Both models come with their generator, a 3 meter power cable with a 16 amp Shuko plug. We find inside two handles for each model to attach to the front and the rear to create the five lifting points uh, of the welders. Inside we also find the safety manual. A pack of 55 Goldorox Rutile Electrodes 2.5. A spool of welding wire made of steel, mild steel, iron uh, with gas, 1 kilogram and 200 millimeters in diameter. Reel mounted inside the 0608 welders for iron. Here we find the 081 for iron. Flax wire feed roll. Gas pipe four and a half meters with quick coupling. Clamping tool three meters, 50 connection. Beautiful and strong with a copper braid. A torch three meters MXL 200. But as we see, the consumables are the usual ones of the 15. And only on model 210, EMP 210, we find the aluminum roll with U-shaped grooves. It is an electrode holder clamp, 3 meters, TSK 50 connection insulated electrode holder clamp. I'm showing you inside the spool compartment. As you can see, we can fit spools of 100 and 200 millimeters and a wire feeder with two rolls. Advancement of the wire without wasting gas. Test um, the gas for a much easier and more immediate adjustment. And inside both models, both panels, we find synergistic tables with all the various parameters. Uh, wire speed, thicknesses and many important parameters to help even less experienced operators. And on the sides, we find all the codes for spare parts and uh, consumables. The big difference anyway between the two models um, is mainly on the 180, where we can find the selection. Regarding the materials of the synergistic tables, you can select the material, in this case iron. We can choose the wire thickness and the welding gas. These synergistic parameters can be adjusted on the 180 within the spool holder, while on the 210, they will be adjustable directly on the front display. Let me show you the EM180 panel, where on the left, we select the welding process. The simplest is the MMA electrode welding process, where we simply adjust the welding current. And by holding for two seconds, we enter the submenu with the hot start and arc force adjustment. After two seconds, we return to the main menu where we have the current adjustment. 
If we quickly press the button, we skip to the first process, which is wire welding with a special torch. A spool gun torch with the reel located near the handle. This torch is only recognized when we connect it to the small connector at the bottom front of the machine. We then move directly to manual wire welding where we adjust the welding voltage and the wire speed. In this case, by holding for two seconds on the right, I can adjust the uh, electronic inductance, electronic reactance to have a smoother bath for, for example, stainless steel and aluminum or a uh, arc, a more precise welding pool for welding uh, iron. We'll repeat on the same function because by clicking quickly I can also modify the two-stroke and four-stroke. Now by pressing the left button for two seconds I will adjust the pre-gas, the ramp up. The burn back time, burn wire speed and post gas. And this is the manual MIG setting. Then moving to Synergy, as you can see. In this case, I will go, uh, after setting the parameters inside the door, I will adjust uh, the sheet thickness on the right. So 0, 8, 1, 1 and a half, 2. And automatically, the welder will adjust the wire speed and the welding tension. On the left, there will always be a zero reference value recommended by ESAB, which I can then go on to modify positively or negatively. Here we have the EMP 210 Pro panel. By pressing the right button, we will enter the main menu. First of all, we will find the general settings such as language, units of measurement, display brightness, so all those general settings of the um, welder. We also find an icon for information where we find the spare part codes and accessory codes, user manual and some useful information for the uh, welding machine. Uh, first of all, um, the first thing to do is to select the welding process. In this case, we start from the right. The first setting we find is TIG welding. I remind you that it is a DC TIG with lift start. So by touching the tungsten on the piece, we select the TIG, it indicates the correct polarity. And here simply the welding current will have to be adjusted there are no other particular parameters because it is a very simple TIG TIG with a valve so there are no particular TIG parameters to adjust. If we go to select electrode welding instead here too check the polarity based on the electrodes we need to weld here we have the welding amperage, but as you can see, there are some small indications regarding the currently active settings for electrode welding. So we are on electrode as indicated by the drawing. And then we have this information indicating arc force and hot start. E set to five. Why this? Because we can go back to the menu going into these functions which are precisely the adjustable arc force. Adjustable start. And very interestingly, only on the 210 model, the option for selecting cellulosic electrodes. So uh, in this case, I selected the cellulosic ones. And we see that here it is also written as cellulosic cell. So here we have a summary of the settings um, adjusted for this process. Then if we go on to select manual wire welding, we are always instructed about the polarity to uh, respect. And in this case, yes, uh, it regulates the speed of the wire and the tension in welding. 
As for the uh, icons below, so the specific settings, we return to the main menu where we have pre-gas time, start ramp activatable, start ramp with the adjustment, adjustable, burn back time, activatable, burn back time, adjustable. Post gas at the end of welding. We then find, as for the 180, uh, the electronic inductance, electronic reactants, this too adjustable for a softer bath for stainless steel, aluminum, and, uh, and more precise for iron. Below we find the jobs that I haven't shown you, but they also exist for TIG and electrode welding, which are um, personal programs that we can save. And the last icon on the left indicates in two steps, four steps, adjustable spot time and pause time for the torch button. Continuing with the processes, we find wire welding uh, synergic. We select. The polarity is always indicated to us. Here, the adjustment is completely automatic according to the welding tables. Um, preset by ESAB. Here, we simply adjust the thickness of the sheet metal. As you can see, it changes at the top. And with the left potentiometer, we always start from zero and then, depending on the welder's hand or the need um, of the weld bead, we can vary the arc voltage to have a hotter weld or go negative to have a slightly colder weld with more wire feed. Regarding the main menu functions, in the settings at the bottom right, we find the same as the MIG manual, so as usual. Um, we have the electronic reactants, pre-gas, the ramp up is activatable and adjustable. We mentioned the bareback time is rule activatable and adjustable and the post-gas below. Let's find the parameters that are the synergic settings of the materials. Here we find, to give an example, the programs for iron, stainless steel, aluminum, and brazing. Let's try, for example, a metal wire 0.8 millimeters. Let's choose our gas blend. This is always the help on polarity, and we find ourselves again on the main panel for synergic MIG welding. We have reached the end of this video as well. I remind you that Top Welding is always at your disposal for all the information on welding machines and accessories. I say goodbye and see you next time. Bye.